Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today is a revisit of a revisit of a Jacob Jensen alarm clock. So first of all, the problem was that you couldn't set it. So it was absolutely useless. That was a really easy fix. The next problem was that the lights didn't work and I couldn't work it out because it had one of these panels that I've never seen before. This is the light. It's an EL panel, electroluminescent panel. So you put AC voltage into this, high voltage, and then it uh, lightens up. So basically I proved that this one was faulty by taking a little EL panel out of the Timex Indiglo watch that I had, that my daughter had, and uh, yeah sure enough it lit up. So I left it at that but then quite a few people said you know why don't I buy a little EL panel and I found one on eBay for £2.99 so I did. Now I couldn't get the right size, apparently these are cuttable but I don't think this particular one is because you can see it's got like a border going all the way around it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place it in. I'm thinking that this is the side that lights up, but we'll have to try that. I'm just going to place it in and hopefully it will give some light. What I'm thinking is maybe a little bit of light is better than no light at all. So uh, yeah, it's, it's far from ideal. I could just buy another one of these for like £15 and take the one out of it. But for £2.99, I think it's worth just placing it in there just to see if it works. Now, I have got these uh, these wires here. It's AC, so I believe it's not going to make a difference which way round it goes. I hope that's the case anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave all this ribbon cable on it. Hopefully, I'll be able to lose that somewhere. And I'm just going to solder on these wires onto the two springs that used to connect onto the carbon tracks at the end here. And we'll see what happens. We'll see if it works or not. If it doesn't, I've only lost £2.99. Now I'm going to be fast forwarding through most of the video so uh, to try to shorten it up a little bit and you've already seen me take this apart many times before. So next time you see this I'll be ready to solder this on. So I've got to keep this bit here free because this is the bit which is hitting against these contacts here, the zebra connector. But I'm thinking if I was to just push that there, well I've got a couple of screw holes there that I need to dodge as well. Uh, hold on now. Well I suppose I'm going to have to do without those top screws aren't I? two screws up here but I can do without that. So I'm thinking I can just place that there and then kind of maybe fold that back on itself. I've got a lot, I've got a lot of stuff to lose here. Well okay well let's uh, let's chop these wires here. Use something which is better than that. And I'm just going to separate them out a bit because I'm going to go onto each of these springs. I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to try to leave the springs in place because then in the future, you know, many years to come, if somebody ever wanted to do it properly and they got hold of one of these, then everything else is still there, uh, you know, still available. So I think I'm just going to solder onto the little pads at the bottom just under the springs. So I'm just going to strip back these wires just a tiny bit. Strip back now. I'm just going to tin up these two little bits of wire. Well, I've got myself some little tip cleaner here. It says solder paste, but I definitely bought tip cleaner. This was uh, a little link given to me by PDS, so thanks for that. So I believe I just have to tap my solder knife. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that is nice. Look, nice shiny tip. Yeah. Okay, well I'll keep that with my solder station and then every now and then I can tip my solder line to make it nice and uh, a nice shiny tip because apparently when you've got a shiny tip it's, it's a lot easier for soldering so not that it matters on something like this but you know maybe if I was doing a chip or something like that it might be easier. Right, okay, so now let's just put it on each of the pads down here. So I'm going to stay away from the actual springs themselves. I'm just going to put a bit of solder on the pads. 
I'm not using any flux because everything looks so nice and clean and everything, I'm sure it's going to be just fine. Yeah, look at that, my solder tip is still nice and shiny. Excellent. Right, okay, so that's on there. Now I'm gonna pop the battery back in and let's see if, when I press the button, see if anything happens or not. So, which button is it again? It's this top one here. So if I press this, I'm hoping this will light up. I'm just gonna keep my fingers clear of it. No, it's not lighting up. Hmm, maybe I need to swap it the other way around, but I thought with AC it wouldn't matter. Let me just turn these lights off. I am definitely pressing the right button here, aren't I? Yeah, lights. Oh yes, it is lighting up. Oh, it's very weak though. I don't think that's gonna make any difference at all. Look, let me turn the lights, the main lights off and show you. I suppose maybe these might have been special panels that uh, lighted up with lesser voltage, but look, watch this now, watch this side here. Okay, you ready? There you go. Yeah, and it's definitely this side. Do you know what, I don't really think that's gonna make any difference, but it definitely stays on for five seconds. That's a shame. Is it even worth me? I suppose I might as well just try it the other way around, just purely out of curiosity. I'm just going to leave the lights off for a minute, I'm just going to swap these wires around. I don't think it will make any difference, but it's just to satisfy my own curiosity. No, it's the same, so it doesn't matter which way around it goes. Yeah, okay, well, that's, uh, I don't know whether this is just a particularly cheap one. I say maybe this is designed for, for example, I don't know, maybe 80 to 200 volts AC, and if this is only pushing out, for example, 60 volts, then it's not gonna give a, uh, as, as bright a light. I thought they would have all been much of a muchness. Anyway, let's pop it back in and see if it does anything. tape to try and sort out the uh, the excess ribbon. You can see what I've done, I've had to fold away the excess. I hope now it doesn't fail where I've got this big crease in it. in some captain tape because I'm uh, there's two screws that are not in there now I'm just going to tuck it away somewhere because then again in the future if somebody needs them they're uh, they're inside they're not going to short against anything because they've been stuck down and also they're covered in captain tape anyway even the screws inside but I've got nowhere to fit this anyway so I'm just gonna have to leave this with the instructions unfortunately. Do you know what it's kind of pointless having the screws left inside as well I might as well take them out. Might as well keep all these in a separate bag with the instructions. So that's back together. It's definitely bulging out more here than it was before. I'm hoping it's still going to be able to close. Yes, it is. Right, before I put the screws in, yeah, it's struggling in the middle there, though. No, it's not going to close up here. So I have to make a bit of room.
Yeah, I think when the screws are in it will hold. Right, I'm just going to see if there's any light at all. Right, well I can't see any with the lights on. Let's pop the lights off. Let's see if it makes a difference now. Yes, it does. Very slightly, but remember that's all you need for it at night time, so hold on now. Let's, uh... Yeah, I've definitely seen that lit up. Let's make the room completely dark. Well, I'll tell you what. Look, we know it's lighting up, so let me pop the screws back in. And then, uh, I can set the proper time. And then I'll turn all the lights off, because that's the only time you're ever going to use it. I'm going to put a brand new battery in it because I don't know how good this battery is and then that might also lead to a, a brighter screen as well. I've got the uh, alarm set for 12.30 so it should be going off in a couple of minutes to make sure that that's still working. Right, so there we have it. Let's turn all the lights off, draw the curtains, and see if the light works. Right, as so you can see, it's still not pitch black because it's the daytime, but let's see now. Right now, you can, you can just about read that. Let's see what happens. Look at that. That does actually light up. Fantastic. Look. It works. Amazingly, I can't see, not amazingly, but look, it's missing that very edge bit. So you can see now it is definitely missing that bit there, but at least I did it on the right side, but that was just pure fluke. Because if it was over to the very edge here, it would near enough miss out the nine. Do you know what? I'm happy with that, because at night time, you would definitely see that. So let the alarm go off, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it to a completely dark place, maybe in the garage or something like that, and then uh, see how it lights up then when it's pitch black, the same as it is in night, because right now you can still see it's, uh, there's a lot of daylight. I'm just going to fast forward through now until the alarm goes off. There we go. That's the alarm, so let's see if snooze is working. Yeah, snooze is working as well. Let's take it to a complete dark area. Right, I'm in my garage now. You ready? Check this out. So imagine now it's night time. You're not sure about the time. Press the button. Boom! There it is. So I think, although it looks like it wasn't lighting up at all, I think that is lighting up probably as much as it did originally. Look at that! Do you know what? I'm so pleased I spent that £2.99. And now in hindsight, I'm sure I could have probably just contacted the seller and then ask them to make one just to size because this does look homemade. But you know what? That's with hindsight. I'm going to leave it like this now. I'm happy with how that's come out. You can see the one at the very edge isn't quite as bright as the others. Can you see it looks like slightly cut off? So, uh, yeah, if I'd pushed the panel over a little bit more, I would have got all of that in. But it's still okay. You can still tell the time. There you go gone over to two. I'm so happy I've done that. Right, so that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. You won't be able to see my thumbs. And uh, please subscribe for more trying to fix videos. Take care. Bye now.